a fairly common task that teachers may want to do in Schoology is to embed a um, Google Slideshow instead of just linking to it. So to do that, there's just a couple steps. You want to open up the Google Slideshow and come down to the section that says Publish for the Web. There's an Embed tab right here. The defaults are good. The size is pretty good. Uh, it does auto advance every three seconds, but the student will have a controller that will allow them to pause it or go forward or backwards, so you don't have to worry about that. You can uh, select this box if you want the slideshow to start um, auto advancing as soon as the page loads in Schoology, or you can also choose the option that you want the slideshow to loop over and over again until the student leaves the page. Um, so you could do that. Then you want to click on Publish, and uh, you want to click on OK. Just to show you this one section down here, this verifies that the um, slideshow is published. That makes it available to anybody who goes to the page. Otherwise, uh, you don't uh, necessarily know if the student is going to see it because they are um, not necessarily going to be having the Google permission set. So I uh, just copy this code from the uh, uh, Google slideshow. And then I go over here to Schoology. So I'm in my fake class, my unit one folder. So I want to embed this into a page. So I'll just go ahead and add a page. I'll call it what is empathy. And there's two ways to embed it. Uh, if you only want um, the Google slideshow to be the only thing that is shown, you can come over here to the switch to HTML option and then just paste that code. And when you create it, you'll see it put here. When I click on it, it loads, and there's the player. It will advance every three seconds or so. And then I can also just click the box. Okay. And the other thing you can do is um, I'll redo this, add the page. And um, there's a second option, which is a few more steps, but this allows you to put text on the page in addition to the slideshow. So if you want directions, a prompt that you want the students to read and think about as they go through the slideshow, you can, you'd want to select this option. So I'll put my cursor down to the next line, and then I'll use the Insert Content option. And I am going to insert image and media, not the Google, because we've already got the code from Google. So Insert Media, we're going to do it from the web, and we're going to choose the Media option. So notice that it now gives us the option to post embed code. So I'll just paste it right there, and then I'll insert it. The, little, uh, well, the large yellow box is a placeholder. So I'll hit create, and so here's the text, and then there's the slideshow below it. So depending on what it is you want to have happen in that particular page in Schoology will dictate which method you use to insert it.